hello welcome back to my channel for those that are joining us for the first time you're most definitely welcome please consider subscribing like the video share it with your loved ones and maybe try to go back and watch my videos my old videos i have over a hundred videos on this channel and we share information about my creation traveling vlogs life in the uk and everything else so please Try to go and check it out. Maybe it might change your life. Today we are going to talk about child care. <clears throat> it's a huge topic, but I was triggered by the article that I saw on, on the internet that was about child care and one of us. I would say one of us because that lady is an immigrant. It's a, a very sad story that ended up with someone being jailed so if you're interested in this kind of information smash that subscribe button and then let's get into today's business hello welcome and welcome back to my channel for those that are joining us for the first time my name is Mboi. i am a nurse i work and live in united kingdom wales so like I said on the intro, we are going to talk about child care. When you are an immigrant, you get a visa when you go to a country that your passport does not, uh, well, that your passport is not allowed there unless you get a visa. So, I am from Lesotho and Lesotho is in Africa. So moving from Africa to UK, I need a visa. So the same thing applies with all other African countries. We need to have a visa. I came in UK using a skilled workers visa because nurses are professionals that fall under skilled category that the, UK, the United Kingdom was looking for. Now, when you have a skilled workers visa, from your country there comes another visa for your family meaning if i have a skilled workers visa my children or my family would not have skilled workers visa but they will have what is called a dependent visa despite the fact that some of the children might be born in uk they will still have to be applied for to get a dependent visa unless if the, the main applicant which is me who has a skilled workers visa have now transitioned to becoming a permanent resident and I hold a UK passport or what is called indefinite leave to remain if I have indefinite leave to remain or a British passport my dependents will follow through will follow through to now, when you are an immigrant coming into UK, you don't have, especially when you come in under skilled workers visa, you don't have a right to obtain public funds. I'll say this in my language for you to understand what a public fund is. So, hi, monum, bon kunuli wentatemu, bahola chale damutent. Hona le ba tuba bo ba na le boko ba fu ya nchere teki social development. Uwezo hona le di social grant teta ba na kapa di 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 NGO se fana ngadi rota mahala. Hona le ba tuba ya skolo mahala kasale kala bo pelo kasale kala la tut di ntoze kanto those are the public funds. In the UK, the only public fund that the skilled workers visa holders are entitled to is to get their children into school when they are of age for free. And we also access health services for free. Those are the only public funds that we have and many other that I will stitch on my screen for you to see. So... This means when you bring your children here, child care, you have to cater for that yourself. With child care comes a lot of challenges because 
nannies or child minders are professionals in united kingdom and they have national scale where their payment is rated so you will not just come up with the amount that you want to pay the person that is caring for your child when you're working you will have to follow through the government stipulated amounts because these people are professionals the child minders actually go to school so some other time when i was looking for child the the amount of money that we will pay if ever i bring an underage child in uk it was around five pounds per hour and this means if i work 12 hours in a day I'll have to make sure that I cater for those hours that the child is not at school. This means I start my shift at 8 in the morning and maybe my child goes into school at 9. The first hour of the day, which is from 8 to 9, I will have to find someone to care for the child. That is £5. School ends around 2 or 3. After 3 going to 7 or 8 p.m i have to pay for someone who will take care of my child until i come back and take them home so all this costs money you can imagine if you are a nurse or you are a carer you earn not something less than 18 pounds per hour just bear in mind you are going to scoop out five pounds from your your 18 pounds per hour for a child minder for that day so if you count the amount of hours that you will be paying for your child's care and the amount of money that you will bring home and those that will affect your other bills at the end of the month so i want to put this into you my people child care in the uk is difficult very very difficult if you are to bring your children in UK, I'm, I don't mean to discourage anyone, but if you are here, you mean to bring your children into UK, you have to have a solid plan. You have to have a solid plan. You either come first, work for a year or two, save a little bit so that you won't be earning and spending at the same time. At least you will have a pocket where you scoop out for child care because it's really really expensive I also want to put into you to consider the fact that this is the first world child care is very different to Africa in Africa a child is a child to the community not only you as a parent I'm saying this because I can talk to my neighbor that, okay, I, I'm going to work. Would you please take care of my kids? Then they will. At the age of 10, around 8 and 10, since I was school, I was looking at my kids school. But in this country, if they are below 16 years old, they are regarded as children and you are still required to make sure that they are accompanied that is the law that is the legislature you have to make sure that there is no child under 16 years who is left unattended 16 years and immediately after they are 16 they are expected to drive and work some of them some at, at some point we work with a 16 year old in care settings or 17 year old if they have to so there was an incident that i read about online on the internet of a lady who is an immigrant from nigeria and she was working as a nurse in one NHS hospital that I cannot remember by head, but I will stitch the article on my screen so that you can look at it. I will also stitch in the description of under, under this video 
the link where you can go and read the full article from BBC News. So apparently, the report says this lady usually leaves her child with a child minder and then when she comes back from work, she goes to pick her child to come home with. The child was 10 weeks at, at the time of an incident. So apparently this lady left a child, a 10 weeks child home alone and she went to work. In the UK, if you work in a ward, sometimes you work up to 12 hours plus around 13 hours and after you clock out you still have to travel back home where i am working i travel an hour to work and then an hour coming back it's not even an hour it's an hour and some minutes so you can just imagine how long it's left alone in the room 10 weeks 10 weeks so i know what she did is not it's not good i don't support what she did but can we take a pause can, can we take a moment and ask ourselves why she did it we don't have an access to ask her why she did it it could be there was a lot of mental issues going around. It could be she was tired of the child. It could be she she didn't know what, what to do. It's just speculations. We don't know what was going on. She was caught and then when the case was still investigated, she tried to flee the country, UK. And then she was caught in Heathrow Airport. Heathrow is the major airport in United Kingdom. It's the huge, biggest airport in UK. She, wa she went through Heathrow. If you are trying to flee the country, like as in run away from your mistakes, would you go through Heathrow? Because to my knowledge, Heathrow has about five terminals and in one terminal you can get lost multiple times in just one terminal so let alone if you have a flight in terminal one and then you have to arrive in terminal three travel to terminal one it's just a messed up situation i don't understand why she would go through Heathrow anyway but there is that element of was she okay so this lady left a 10 week old and she was caught and then she wanted to talk to she also wanted her child manda to lie for her that that day she actually left the child with her the child minder, and that was not gonna be the issue because child minders are professionals and it would have been illegal to lie under oath okay now I want us to explore situations now. What would you have done if you came to UK? You are a mother now. You are a new mother of a 10-week-old. You live alone. You now have bills that are looking at you. You can't miss even one month rent in UK. If you miss it, they are going to throw you into the streets. You can't. If you don't pay your bills, you have built yourself a bad credit record, which is taken so serious in this country. If you have bad history in credit, you can't buy anything. You will find difficulty in getting a car. You will find a difficulty in getting a home. You will find a difficulty in buying anything with installment. So she's a nurse. She's getting approximately £2,000 or so a month. Or even less. 
because I think NHS nurses earn less than private nurses. I don't know. You'll correct me on that one. So she was, I want to speculate. <laughs> she was looking at her finances. Am I going to pay? Uh, am I am I going to be able to pay for my bills at the end of the month? Will I be able to feed this child? Will I be able to pay child minders? And then the only thing that she resorted to was to leave a child alone. So I want this story to stick in your head. As someone who wants to migrate or whoever is already in UK that child services or child care is different in UK if you want to come or if you want to bring your child here you need to have a solid plan it's either you come with your partner whom you will be working together to take care of your kids this partner should be able to work opposite shifts to you. Meaning, if I am at work, my partner should be at home. When, she's at, when he's at work, I should be at home. You see? So that there is an adult at all times. And you, I think most of the times, ladies are the ones who initiate immigration back home in my country. I think most of the times, we as ladies are the ones that initiate migration. We talk to our partners about migrating. Ladies, when you talk to your man about migrating, about this huge, drastic, dramatic move, include childcare. Just let your men know that the roles won't be gender assigned in UK. You won't bring you you will not come here and expect your wife to fulfill every gender role identity that we have at home. And and it won't be the only thing that they that is done by your partner or your wife ho ha because if you are working opposite shifts o totla me o phela bana o totla me o ba hlapisa o ba tsukune o ba kame o ba thate di hlohele bana ba banana o ba itse gatsgatsi and men when you come to this country bear with your partners I'm not saying ladies forget your roles, but don't put pressure on them. They are going to break down. I don't want to scare you, but in living in a foreign country is different. Here you are, you will not do that. There was one incident. I was going to Tesco. I just want to highlight unattended children. I was going to Tesco to buy uh, some goodies. And then I was sitting on the, there is a bench closer to the supermarket. I just sat there just to put my things nicely in my bags. There were a bunch of teenagers sitting at the far end. You won't believe that they threw, like they rolled <laughs> tissues and started throwing tissues at me. Okay. I kept quiet. I kept quiet, purposefully so, because I didn't know how to attend to that situation. At home, if they do that, hey, okay, I'll leave it at that. But what I want to highlight to you guys, when you come to UK, just know that childcare is very different. It's difficult. 
you need to have a plan you need to have a supportive partner that will help you with children year round until those are adults i spoke to a few people that i invited to my channel just to try and talk about this child care but was a internet anyway they are struggling if you have your friends that are in uk and they have children ask them it's not easy so don't come here and think wana ha wana sansa ikisa school ngale mo di 12 for balance standard 7 o tlo ikisa school o tlo mo feletse 12 year old o tlo mo feletse and if you don't have a plan you are in trouble so single parents if you are single and you want to bring your children here embrace yourself have a solid plan know what to do ask for help if you have to because social services if they hear kale hlokwana la tsela if they hear even just one complaint about your child not being cared for properly they're going to take that child away from you i'm not kidding they are going to take him away from you and or if they don't take him you will and you will be living under surveillance so the brutality of child care in here <sighs> i want to have another child but <clears throat> Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is the chit chat that I want I wanted us to touch on. When you come abroad, have a solid plan. Sensitize your partners. Be strong enough to ask for help if you have to. Communicate your difficulties because we don't want to hear. A child being taken away from you or we don't want to see reports about you on the internet on the bbc being arrested that lady is in jail is jailed okay i'll see you in my next upload please consider to subscribe like share this video and i love you bye